to my last video, which was me revealing my ancestry DNA results. And since that time, I've actually uploaded my raw DNA to both DNA Land and GEDmatch. And so I wanted to share the results of both those tests with you and also just give you a little bit of my uh, feelings and feedback on Ancestry DNA and um, yeah, some things that have happened since taking the test. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, so DNA Land, it's a really cool free tool to use. I'll actually share the hyperlink. I'll actually share the URL um, in this video, but it's actually dna.land. So according to DNA Land, I am 69% African. 28% West Eurasian and 1.7% Native American. And then there's something called ambiguous and I'm actually 1.4% ambiguous. So yeah, okay. according to DNA land, I'm slightly less African, slightly more Eurasian and the Native American did actually come up in DNA land. So. Yeah, I heard a lot of people saying, you know, ancestry isn't always reliable when it comes to the Native American ancestry and that pairing. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend trying to upload your DNA to DNA land because you never know, it may actually show up in another test. So 69% African um, and with ancestry, they had me at 75% African. Uh, but it's interesting, um, just looking at the DNA land results, it's pretty much the same regions on the same countries listed, just slightly differing amounts, which leads me to believe that Ancestry is actually probably pretty accurate. DNA land, back to DNA land, 69% African, 61% West African, oh, that's 61%, 48% Lower Niger Valley, and 13% Senegal River Valley. And this, this is something that's interesting and somewhat different. 7.1% East African, which didn't really show up in Ancestry. They have the Southeastern Bantu, uh, but 28% Eurasian. So that 28% is uh, Northwest European at 18%, Northeast European at 5%, which is Finnish and North Slavic, and South Central European, which is 2.4%. So South Central European, is actually Italian. And then there's Central Asian at 1.6% and Mediterranean Islander at 1.4%. So that's really interesting because it's the exact same regions. If you remember in my ancestry video, um, all that was there, the Finnish, uh, the Italian, the Northwestern European, which is the British and the Irish, uh, really similar. I mean, there's slight differences, but Again, it's very close to what uh, I previously received in the Ancestry DNA report. A really cool tool, just another cool way to see the breakdown of your DNA. I really like the pie chart. That's pretty, pretty nice. And then next, I did upload to GenMatch, and GenMatch is pretty challenging to use, I will admit. It does take some uh, research, a little bit of reading to figure out um, what calculators to use when you get your admixture results. Um, there are some other cool features, like I think it can predict your eye color based off of your raw DNA. So that stuff is pretty interesting. But the two, the two calculators that I ended up using are the MDLP K13 Ultimate Admixture and the Hunt DNA L K12 Modern Admixture. Hunt DNA L. Um, again, it has me at 70.1% Sub-Saharan African, 1.69% um, American Indian, South Asian, which didn't really show up in Ancestry, 1.45%, European HG 10.46, Caucasus HG 4.49, South African HG 1.9, and Anatolian NF. 9.17 and lastly Beringian at 0.7% so yeah I mean all these all these uh, reports these graphs are showing very similar results 
has me from uh, the range, I guess, of African is like 69 to 75. Um, with the larger, the next largest group was European, and then um, Asian and Native American. So overall, just another really cool way to um, visually see what you're made of. And now I just thought I would share my thoughts on Ancestry DNA. For the longest time, I, I was really excited just to see my racial breakdown. I mean, being African American and not having any knowledge about my ancestry or specific countries in Africa, like it's just been so, um, I'd say fulfilling and just awesome to know. And now I have new places to travel to, new places to visit, new cultures to study and learn about. But even more than that, I think the most, um, rewarding part of this experience has been connecting with people that I didn't know I was even related to or shared any DNA with. In Ancestry, I was actually matched with uh, about 140 people who are four cousins or closer. I actually reached out to many of them, some of them reached out to me, and it's just crazy to see like, I mean, there's black people, there's white people, <laughs> which I, I, like, I wasn't surprised about, but it's still just shocking when you see it. For the, or see those people, um, I know that they're your cousins, um, but people all over the country, from Oklahoma to New Mexico to California to Indiana. So it's, it's crazy to think like you could be living pretty close to someone and, and be related to them. So yeah, even through GenMatch, I've been able to um, connect with people through the email. Some people have reached out to me, I've reached out to some people. So I'm really looking forward to exploring that more and um, really working with some of them to find out how we're connected and, and where the connection lies. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I definitely want to continue on in this journey and hopefully I'll share more and document more, document this experience of connecting with people. Um, one other really cool thing about this is possibly being able to connect with some of my father's father's family um, that I didn't really know that well. Um, no one in my family really knew that well. So I think through Ancestry I have found some people. So that's really exciting to be able to um, connect with a branch of my family that I never really knew and my dad didn't really know. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I definitely plan on documenting this more. Please leave your suggestions down below of other videos you'd like to see me do, possibly. It could be family research, family tree stuff, um, ancestry, whatever. It could be something else completely unrelated. Um, but I definitely want to continue making more videos. So yeah, uh, if you have taken the Ancestry DNA test, if you've uploaded your DNA to DNA Land or Jed Match, please leave your uh, stories down below. If you have any suggestions or advice for using Jed Match, I know many people will probably really appreciate that. Feel free to share that as well. Um, yeah, and let me know how your search is going. All right, so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.